What's up YouTube, Lord Xander here. Uh, here I have my review of Tolerance is Extinction Part 1 and Tolerance is Extinction Part 2. Sorry for the late review of video or uh, episode number 8 of uh, X-Men 97. Uh, a lot going on, but oh my god. As you can see in the thumbnail, uh, Magneto has stripped Logan, aka Wolverine, of his Admantium. Uh, just like in the comic books, uh, Wolverine pretty much uh, dealt Magneto a very deadly uh, attack from behind, a blow with his uh, claw, and Magneto, in retaliation, attacked him. Uh, Bastion uh, is running the Sentinel Primes, and so the X-Men are fighting literally a war on two fronts. Uh, I'm not going to have too many uh, uh, spoilers here. I recommend that you see these episodes. Uh, so Extension Part 1 gets, gets you uh, the Prime Sentinels, which I consider pretty much, you know, uh, you know first run Nimrods, uh, but of course infecting uh, humans with the Technovirus, and of course... Uh, uh, you know, the major bad guy in this episode, I would say, is Magneto, because he pretty much uh, declared war upon planet Earth, uh, all mutant kinds, by uh, shutting down the, uh, pretty much the magnetic core of Earth to uh, shut down all the Sentinel Primes, which forced, uh, uh, you know, what's his face, uh, saying his name wrong, but you know, uh, to uh, run his, run his uh, Sentinel Primes on uh, his uh, techno telepathy. Um, so this is pretty deep, uh, pretty dark. It's a good episode. Uh, episode 10 coming up this uh, Wednesday uh, is going to be the season finale, or not season finale, yeah, the and the season one so we'll see how this uh, plays out we have a uh, <clears throat> cable under the control of uh oh like i said i guess we are gonna have spoilers but you know cable under the control of uh by mr Sin mr sinister attacking uh gene gray it looks like uh forge got shot out of the sky and the blackbird and storm got taken down by a sentinel splashing in the water uh, it looks bad for uh, the X-Men here, especially with the uh, Wolverine getting uh, a major attack by Magneto. So we'll see how this played out. It played out really, really well in the comic books. Um, I would say X-Men 97 does stick to most of the X-Men comic book canon of the same era. Uh, obviously some minor variations here, but still, still good and uh, like I said, uh, I would say as a comic book X-Men fan from back in the day, from the early 90s, early 2000s, um, when I was younger and reading Marvel comics, uh, specifically X-Men, this is good. Uh, like I said before in other videos, this is uh, darker than the original series because we see, obviously, you know, Wolverine shoving his claw through uh, Magneto's chest, blood, um, the death of Gambit in episode five. Um, you know, a bunch of mutants get getting a, uh, attacked and terminated on Genosha and the same episode, episode five. So this is pretty, pretty dark guy. The X-Men comic books uh, were really never meant for like young, young kids, uh, probably young teenagers, young adults. Uh, because a lot of the stories uh, are pretty, you know, in terms of mature and violent and such, and you know, they don't play around. And here, uh, I'm glad they stepped it up and uh, made it very similar to the complex. Uh, I'm kind of worried about season two, because um, the, from what I heard, they, I need to remember this dude's name, but he got fired for creative differences the main, I guess, director, uh, writer, somebody, um, 
like I said, I'll, I'll look into it more. I kind of halfway pay attention to the information on the inner zones, but I don't know if, if they don't have the right people running season two, then I'm going to be uh, disappointed. Most of Disney uh, Marvel has sucked, especially in the animated department. Uh, this is an exception to that rule. Um, and maybe uh, season two of a what if, you know, a couple of the episodes. I'll talk about that later in another video, but um, this show overall is great. Uh, I would say four out of five stars, I guess. Um, I still like the original better, but this this is good. I mean, this is, uh, you know, more in line with uh, the comic books and uh, of course, uh, like I said, we have this nasty battle between the ideals of Charles Xavier and uh, Magneto um, coming into conflict, and uh, we'll see. I mean, is Jean Grey dead again? We don't know. I guess we'll find out in episode 10. Uh, is Wolverine going to get his Adamantium back? I don't know. It, to happen season two who knows a lot of uh, questions will hopefully be answered in upcoming episodes or seasons of uh, x-men 97 we'll have to wait and see but thanks for watching uh like i said overall i recommend the series i would definitely say it's worth your time as an x-men fan and like i said we'll give credit where credit's due uh, disney's doing a good job i don't really have too many negative things to say. I could nitpick on stuff, you know, uh, pick on this and that. I already picked on the animation. Uh, it's kind of, uh, looks a bit unfinished and, uh, you know, too much kind of, uh, I guess, IA generated uh, CGI instead of classic uh, animation style, but, you know, it's acceptable. You know, Rogue looks pretty, uh, pretty good here. Um, not as I'd like to see her, but you know, whatever. Wolverine, uh, you know, being a badass, you know, doing the best of what he does and what he does isn't very nice. Uh, you know, the cable, you know, uh, dynamic uh, with, uh, you know, Scott Summers' dad, Cyclops, and Marvel Girl. I guess Malin Pryor is more of his mom, but uh, we'll, we'll see. We will see. So, uh, Tolerance is Extinction Part 3 will be the uh, episode 10. And we'll see how it plays out next week. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye.